Hey guys and welcome back. With season 12 just ending around a week ago now, I thought it was necessary to just go over the main points of the season and just give my personal full thoughts to you guys. I'll be going over story, character arcs and designs. So be sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below and then we'll get started. So to start us off, I think that they definitely listened to our main issues with season 11 and kind of fixed up quite a lot of stuff which is definitely great. This was a season that used the 11th minute format to produce, and this time around, it actually did make for some good creativity. There was no complete filler, which I found to be great. Instead, they did try out some more creative things, such as the detective episode in black and white, but carried on the story at the same time, which I definitely enjoyed, and I'd like to see more of this in future seasons to come. And this is definitely how you mix creativity with the episodes whilst keeping the story going at the same time and not just using fur episodes to do this. Moving on to the main story aspect of this season, well it was definitely a huge step up from season 11's story in my opinion, and it felt more mature to me for sure. Jumping into the season to begin with, I saw a lot of people saying things that, like, oh it's going to be a rip off of season 3, and I think that the season definitely proved a lot of people wrong on that. Also, I know a lot of people didn't like the idea of the ninja hopping into a game to begin with at all. But as the season went on, I think the majority of people definitely switched their minds and did start to enjoy it. Now as for arcs, well, we did see some phenomenal ones in my opinion, such as Okino. Now I loved Okino, as he is actually quite relatable to a lot of people and wasn't what we expected from him at all. He kind of acted as a depressed samurai and had a very depressing attitude to life, and I think a lot of us can kind of connect with him on a deeper level as of course, we all have times like this in real life, and it's just great having a character like this, and seeing his mood change and his attitude to life change also. I loved seeing him kind of learn that he doesn't have to be forced to follow the same routine in this game, and that he can rise up against Unagami and break his programming, and actually make it into the real world without his depressed attitude. This brings me on to the next character I'd like to talk about, and that is of course, the main villain, Unagami. Now, Unagami is a very, very interesting and unique villain, to say the least, as he isn't really a villain at all. Instead, a very confused AI, and I loved that. He genuinely thought that what he was doing was right, which I liked, and seeing him meet with Dyer at the end of the season was very heartfelt, in my opinion, and made for a spectacular way to end off such a great season. Also, the ninja getting picked off one by one in the game did make people kind of connect um, with this season to Skybound, which I don't agree with personally. I do kind of think this season took a very unique approach to that aspect of it, and did do it in a much more unique and interesting way. Okay, so moving on to designs, well wow. The ninja's avatars and digisuits looked phenomenal in the game, and whilst a lot of people weren't a fan of the VR headset look on the ninja wraps to start with, I think everyone can agree that it made for some hilarious expressions, and definitely spiced things up, and just added humour to more serious scenes. Also, the world of Prime Empire itself. Wow, it was just beautiful. First of all, you have a beautiful, futuristic looking city, with lots of liveliness to the whole place, and lots of colours everywhere. It looked amazing. Then we had a more blocky looking world, which definitely took inspiration from Minecraft, and the traps there looked amazing. And the Mario world. It looked awesome and took inspiration from a few games actually, but had its own take on them. Lastly, the Temple of Madness amazing looking place and looked very wacky, but that's what made it stand out to me in my opinion. Unagami and the Red Visors looked awesome too. So now I've gone over everything I liked in a general rundown of the season and what we see, I'd like to talk about of course, the bad things. So starting us off is the development of the ninja, which we certainly didn't get much of. The development mainly went over to characters such as Okino and Racer 7, which I'm not completely against, I just would have preferred some more development to the ninja. Jay in particular. And my biggest complaint here is the finale, and wow, it was amazing, but there are some big issues and plot holes with this, such as seeing Okino enter the real world, despite the fact that Unagami pre told him previously he would never actually enter the real world. Also, I'm not sure how he even got to the portal in the first place, seeing as he was in a totally different game world to begin with. Also, what happened to the game? Is it now a normal game, or is it shut down altogether? I think this definitely should have been answered to us. And also, where is the mechanic in his group of thugs? 
I was hoping we would see a scene of them all getting arrested before I even went into this episode, but unfortunately, we just didn't see that. I definitely think the finale should have been a good 2-3 to 11 minute episodes long, as they could take even more time for fights with Unagami, and also tie up these loose ends, which unfortunately we didn't really get answers to. My last issue is screen time for the villains, which we definitely aren't getting much of with this new 11 minute format. I think seeing more of Unagami would have made the season even better than it already is, and I hope they manage to fix this in season 13. So for my final ratings of Prime Empire, season 12 of Ninjago, I will be giving this season a 9 out of 10. I think it definitely improved upon season 11's mistakes very nicely, and we've got some amazing new characters introduced, and some great arcs. And if they just fix up the main problem with the finale, we will definitely be in for a treat with season 13. Let me know what you all thought of this video down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say about Prime Empire. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop a comment down below, and I will see you all next time.